Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosa here. Um, for today's video, I'm going to be doing a quick look at the pitch modulation effect in Caden Live. I've just grabbed a bit of video here up on my timeline from uh, me speaking to the camera at a restaurant some time last week. And a lot of people assume that to do a few audio things beyond, you know, gain and normalization in Caden, you need to pull out the audio and work on it in audacity and then bring it back in and you can certainly do that for certain applications like background noise removal but it's often unnecessary because the thing about Caden Live is they have this um the way they lay they lay out their effects is that main effects are up here but then it's actually only a partial selection of the effects to get all the effects you need to click into these two tabs where i'm jiggling my mouse this is all the video effects and this is all the audio effects Pitch modulation, why might you want to use it? Well, you've probably seen those videos on TV where they interview a gangster or something or an informant and they uh, do, you know, silhouette interview lighting and stuff like that. And they typically also um, try to make their voice uh, obfuscated, I think is the word I'm looking for. So um, that's one example. There's probably other reasons, but just to, just to cover this one today. Now, I definitely want to go through not perhaps all of these but many of these audio plugins in a different uh in different videos because some of them are super useful we have a lot of stuff here there's eq um there are compressor expander plugins um nested there under i think it's channels anyway they're in here somewhere and uh really really useful and again a lot of stuff that you can do in post-production even if you don't have you know an audio interface let's say with or a mixer with EQ and um, EQ functionalities. All right, let's just stick with this though. Pitch and time, so we have three different um, effects, rubber band, octave shift, rubber band, pitch scale, and sock stretch. Now you wanna drag these onto the audio portion of the timeline, because these are audio effects. Uh, I have it on twice for unknown reasons. So what would these do well if you're increasing the octave in the positive direction i.e a positive offset you're going to be going in the squeaky squirrel direction now you, you know you know what i mean where you sound like a squeaky squirrel that's um that direction and the other direction is going towards darth vader territory right so you're going to be lowering the octave in my experience you don't a little goes a long way in terms of pitch modulation so just by decreasing the pitch by half an octave, listen to the effect it has. Something I really like about editing um, effects in Caden Live is that they apply immediately to the clip. So I can actually play through the clip, right? And I minus five, and there's a little bit of latency. As you can hear, I've gone back to my normal voice. So you can actually be scrubbing through the audio and playing around with slight differences in the shift until you find what's not too deep to be unintelligible, but deep enough that the voice of the interview subject is disguised. Again, I'm talking about those kind of um, interviews where the voice is changed deliberately. So let's try 0 0.3. Now, uh, if, if this were me trying to disguise the voice of this person, well, me, um, I would probably go for a little bit more. Right, and then if you go all the way to, let's say, minus 1.5, you're going to hear it's probably not even intelligible. And just to finish this off, to show you guys what it sounds like in the other direction, here is a positive pitch modulation of half an octave. Ready, sound pretty funny. Uh, so this is a good one if you want to kind of play pranks on your friends or whatever. And then if you go to one, you're going to get like super, super squeaky. So there's other ones here, and uh, but that's pitch modulation. So as I said, if you do want to use it for, if you are shooting an anonymous interview and you want to, some for whatever reason, anonymize your interview subject, uh, you can go ahead and do that. And as I said, there's tons and tons more audio effects just really lying here. There has to be a good 50 of them, if not more. And I'm going to try cover as many as I can in future videos because Caden Live is a program that looks pretty simple at first glance, but there's an awful lot of firepower here just under the surface waiting for eager Linux using video people to explore. 
Thank you guys for watching this video about pitch modulation in Caden Live. If you would like to get more videos from me on Caden, Linux, other subjects, please do consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. And of course, thank you for watching.